is a business which is very dependent on creative agencies. You know the recommendations that they give to the brands because you don't directly deal with the brands. And we've seen the strength of creative agencies coming up with their in-house production houses. So how does that really uh, change the equation in a way uh, with brands, agencies overall? For you? I think fundamentally it's a little tricky on ethics because um, if an agency is uh, you know asking for a pitch from various production houses and and one of the uh, teams pitching is their own internal create uh, production house, it becomes a little tricky because they have access to our treatment notes, mm-hmm. our ideas, and our budgets. So at the last minute, if you know. Uh, uh, they're able to kind of manipulate their budgets and treatments accordingly and you know get the project. I think that's on a fundamental level ethically wrong. Mm-hmm. I think uh, and I don't know if I can confidently say that people follow a very objective due diligence on making sure that uh, the agency is not privy or the production house uh, or the agency is not privy to what we all send. So I think I do feel very uncomfortable about that firstly. Secondly, um, Production houses are organized in a very efficient way. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, you know, because when we make a film, uh, our our existence depends on how we deliver the film to the client. Uh, mm-hmm. It is not a business vertical for us. It's not a subset of what we otherwise do, and it's not a cash cow or ATM which kind of funds other things. This is what mm-hmm. we do for a living. Uh, if you make a bad film, we don't get repeat clients, okay. and we lose out. So. We give it all for every film we make because that's how we exist and we survive and we grow. So I think there is a ownership which independent production houses and directors get on a job. It's a very difficult when you get people on hire mm-hmm. because I feel when agencies, since they don't have in-house production teams or in-house, sorry, they have the production teams but they don't have in-house directors, they're always getting people from the market. Mm-hmm. So there are freelancers coming in. Not that they are not good or we can't win awards. But I feel that there's on a deeper level there is no uh, cost for them, or there's no there's no survival, uh, you know, the cost of survival for them because mm-hmm. they can do their job and then they can go out and they can do another job and you know they recharge their per day rates and stuff like that. But I, I think that's based on a commercial interaction. When we make a film, like I said, everything depends on the film. Plus, when we work with our partners, like whether it's a DOP or there is a stylist or there is a production designer or an editor, uh, we have years of friendship and equations with them, you know. Mm-hmm. And somehow, sometimes we are able to get the best talent to give their best to us because it's again not a day-wise interaction. It's not a, a interaction based on you know a day shoot or what we bring them. It's more on friendship. It's on equations we share outside the shoot or what we built over the years. So I think. Uh, we as production houses are organized in the most efficient way to deliver the best possible uh, output to the client. Mm-hmm. 